So what you see here was a little cart that I bought that I found on clearance. My intention was to go shopping to look for some baskets and I could build a shelf around it. But when I saw this on clearance for 20 bucks, I said, well, this is exactly what I'm looking for, but I think I can make it a little bit better. So first step was to open it up. It was a pretty simple wire rack and I assembled that as my first stage here. And once the baskets were all assembled, I went ahead and built the rack that that's going to sit on. So on closer examination, I realized that the top was all jacked up there and it looks like somebody dropped the thing and there was a huge crack in the melamine or whatever it is, the plastic top there. So I figured out that's something I can do better. So let's get out some cabinet grade plywood, uh, three quarter inch. I want to lay this down to get, get an idea of the size. Then we'll bring it over to the table saw and we'll cut it down and make a simple top for it to improve on the quality. So what you see here is I just took the original top that came with it and I'm using that to size the piece that I need to make. So I just put it on there, push up the fence, and I was able to go ahead and, and make my cut to the right size that it needs to be. So I'm using the top as a template on where to pre-drill the holes so I can mount it to the wire rack. So I'll bring it over to the router, I'm going to use a half inch round over a bit and we'll round over all of the uh, top sides there uh, so that I can go ahead and stain it to a nice dark uh, color. And I'm just getting a little uh, sanding block and just fixing up the corners, getting all those rough edges and prepared for a little stain. So I'm going to just use some Minwax stain. It's an espresso darker stain and I think it'll look good with that plywood. Okay, as you see, I put a couple layers of some spray lacquer on there to give it a little bit of a sheen. And now all you have to do is drill out the holes to secure the top. Uh, a little tip here, some people have asked me about this. Those are the years that I got the batteries. So I do a little, uh, just a little uh, reminder of when I got them so you can see how long these Makita 18 volt lithium batteries are, are lasting. But I got a little tape here. Alright, there she is all assembled. I think it came out pretty good. Not bad for a little $20 piece of uh, prefab furniture with some extra spare wood I had laying around. And there she is. I think it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. It's Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks.